Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a long time, probably since March, since I've uh, filmed a video. Um, if you guys follow my Instagram, I've kind of snippet shared a little bit on here as well. Uh, the last month, going on two months, I decided to take control of my health and my weight. After I came back from Nashville for my birthday, I told myself I was just done. I hated the way I looked. I was tired. I just felt, it just felt horrible. And I told myself that when I come back, I'm committing, I'm losing weight. So when I came back home for my birthday, I ordered me a Peloton and I went from there. I got my Peloton on March 27th and I have not looked back since then. I am down about 10 to 12 pounds. It's kind of fluctuating. I'm doing a lot of strength training. I've actually started um, a boot camp May 1st. I'm on my third week of it. So I feel like I'm gaining, I'm starting to tone and gain some muscle. So I think that's why the scales kind of just sit in there, which I'm fine with. I feel better. My stomach is definitely shrinking. I'm losing inches and that's all that matters. The inches versus weight. You just see the difference. I know a lot of you have asked to kind of see my journey and kind of what I'm doing. So I figured I'd kind of give you a little snippet into what a day looks like for me. I'm going to show you some of the workouts I'm doing. I do all of my workouts from the Peloton app. That's what I love about um, the Peloton is that it comes with the subscription and there's so many classes besides cycling. There's strength training, cardio, HIIT workouts, meditation, yoga, Pilates, everything, you guys. I love this app and I'm just so happy that I took the plunge and invested in myself and I'm committed and sticking to it. I'm also going to share with you guys some of the things that I cook and eat to kind of help me. I am doing a calorie deficit now where I'm kind of counting my calories. I was going to do keto but I just felt like I'm not mentally committed and ready for that type of lifestyle yet. So I am just counting my calories to stay within my deficit so it can help me lose weight. I just started doing that honestly going on two weeks now at first i didn't do that but i decided if i was going to really commit i needed to get my eating under control so so far it's going good it gets easier the more that you do it but yeah welcome if you guys are new hello my name is amber i'm a mom of three boys i work full time my life is crazy busy i always go in my on youtube but I'm working on me. I'm just trying to get my life together on my health and my fitness. And I hope you guys would like to stick around and kind of join me on my journey because I feel like there's nothing wrong with being the best versions of ourselves. You guys know I've been using this creamer for months um, and I don't have to add any sugar or anything to it because it is perfectly fine with just this. I love it. And oh, it's four. I said two. It's four grams carbs. I'm not really counting carbs though, but it's just a little bit conscious if you are counting. I think there's a drop in there. I might as well pour it in there. I hate when people, especially the kids, put a container back that has like one drop in it. Got my coffee, get this in me, and kind of sit and chill for a little bit. And then I probably will start my workout just to get it out of the way. During the week when I work, I work out when I come home. I don't work out in the mornings because I would just have to wake up at like four. I mean, that's a goal. Eventually, I would like to be able to do that, but right now, it's just not working out for me. So I work out when I get home from work, but on the weekends I do work out in the morning or sometime during the day, depending. So we're gonna start making breakfast. I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs. I have some sausage links in the air fryer. And yeah, you guys, a win. Tank loves eggs now. That's a win, you guys know we never used to eat them. Um, last time I made breakfast, he was like fighting Samir for the eggs and sausage. So I'm gonna probably pop a more, couple more in there because that's four of us eating eggs. Samira stirring up the pancake mix. I think I might make me um, a chaffle. It's like a keto waffle, but I don't have almond flour. So it's gonna be like lazy keto, but it's literally like egg, flour, 
and I think there's like something else and you like put it in your waffle maker. So we're gonna butter our pan. Yes, I got this freaking blue bonnet. You know, that's not even, well, it says plant butter. I wonder if this is real butter, if it's just like the margarine spread. I don't know, but we're gonna use that for our pancakes and our eggs. You make them breakfast? Mmm. I am not making me a chaffle because I do not have mozzarella cheese because you need mozzarella cheese, an egg, and like a tablespoon of flour, almond flour. But I don't have mozzarella cheese. I only have cheddar and I just, cheddar, I don't know. Like you can use cheddar, but I'm going to use sugar-free syrup on mine and I just don't know how it's going to taste. So I'm going to probably just like eat the eggs and sausage. But I think about it when I put cheese in my eggs, I put syrup on it. I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't sound appealing to me. All right, we're gonna add our pancakes. Chef Lakin, you learned how to cook eggs? <laughs> Oops. He's so honest, you guys. I didn't make these eggs, you did. I think our pancakes are ready. Oh yeah. Mmm. Let me see. You want cheese in your eggs? Sausage is nice and done and crispy. Yum. Gonna make our last couple pancakes and then we're gonna have breakfast. And since I can't make a chaffle because I don't got the appropriate cheese, I'm just gonna have one pancake. This butter cooks pancakes beautifully. A lot of like other oils and butters I feel like kind of burn your pancakes. Look at how these turned out. Perfect. Hmm, this might not be too bad. I actually got this in sticks as well too, just to try out um, because it was like a dollar cheaper than the other plant butter I buy. Look at that. Perfect. Here you go. Mmm, get your fork. So this is my plate, you guys. Um, I always eat on these little plates. I like never eat on the big ones. I've done it probably ever since I got them. But I probably have maybe, I don't even know if that's a full cup of eggs, two sausage links, and one small pancake. I did use sugar-free syrup. We use this, the kids use this as well too. I switched to this a couple months ago and the taste, there's really no difference. So this is breakfast. I don't eat breakfast every day. You guys know this is like a weekend tradition. If you um, are a long time follower, you know I always make breakfast on the weekends for the kids because during the week, we don't get a chance to. This is how I know that my appetite has changed tremendously. I was stuffed. I didn't finish my food. So just a, just a friendly reminder, you guys, do not deprive yourself or feel like you have to starve yourself to lose weight and you can still eat the things that you love just cut down your portions and i promise you the longer you stick to it it's gonna get easier and you're gonna get full and then you're gonna realize that you're not even hungry half the time we just want to eat because it's there i wanted to show you guys real quick um these are what i typically eat for my breakfast during the week um when i go to work um honestly I kind of do like a lazy fasting during the week when I work. 
I usually typically don't even eat until noon. That's when I eat lunch. But if I am hungry for whatever reason, this is what I usually opt to eat. I like these as a snack as well. Um, I find these at Marshall's. They only have like three bucks I think I pay. Or you can get them at Walmart, any other grocery store. So this kind of details a light, quick breakfast or a snack. These are the other two that I have. I have this peanut butter dark chocolate and then this vanilla blueberry. I haven't opened this one and tried it yet. I'm sure it's gonna be really good. I love blueberries, um, but I love peanut butter. Love peanut butter and chocolate. These are so good. So these are perfect snack alternatives. Um, I'm not counting carbs. You guys remember I said I tried to do like the whole keto thing. I just don't think it's for me. I think it's just me more conscious and staying under my calorie. Um, deficit that seems to work better for me now that I'm paying attention to that and this one is only 150 calories I believe this one is 140 so good snack alternatives if you kind of get a sweet tooth these are perfect to pick up instead of like a candy bar or anything else that's full with a ton of sugar so I'm gonna make me like a chicken taco bowl taco salad um, if you don't want to use tortilla chips leave them out and you can make you like a burrito bowl that's minus like the carbs um, but I am going to add a little bit of blue corn tortilla chips I love these obsessed with these even the kids eat these they are gluten free they just taste so good um, I do have my shredded cheese I'm gonna top me chop me up some tomato I buy my chicken like this for like salads, my burrito bowls, things like that. It's quick and easy. And what's nice, I can take these in my lunches to work where I could just add the chicken last so it's not like soggy with the rest of my food. I have some cream cheese, some black beans. I'm gonna add some salsa in there along with some corn. This is super simple, you guys. Literally takes like five minutes to throw together and it's much healthier than like a full on regular nachos. Lot. More than enough. And then what I'm gonna do is open up my chicken. Add a little bit of chicken in there. That's good. Open up my black beans. Got my black beans opened. I do rinse mine out. And this is gonna last me. I'm gonna use this throughout the week for other lunches, dinners, things like that. I'm gonna open my corn. If you don't have one of these bad boys, you need to get one. And I'm just gonna add in my black beans, as much as you would like, and my corn. I like to layer it, make it look kind of all pretty. Then I will save both of these for other meals. Now I'm going to cut up my tomato. Oh, it looks so good already. Now I'm going to add my cheese. Just add some in there. Get your salsa. Through that. Then, get your sour cream. And the final touch that I put on everything, my cilantro. You guys know I love this on salads. I'm gonna top that. And there you go. You got a yummy, delicious, five minute, healthy chicken nacho bowl. So this is where I have the bike in my room. I have it just set up right there. If it's perfect, what I really love about this bike, you guys, it doesn't take a lot of space. I've had some people that have messaged me on Instagram and asked, like, does it take up a lot of space? Is it bulky? It's not. When I first got the bike, I started it off over here. And then, you guys know, I used to have my vanity. So my vanity was over there and I moved the vanity back to here and I had my bike actually over here. And even when it was over there, it still did not take up a lot of space. But I got rid of the vanity. I gave it to my little cousin, finally. Samir, shh. After like six months of saying I was gonna give it to her, they finally got it. Excuse the dirty laundry, I'm doing laundry currently, so pile laundry's in the bathroom, let's go next load. Um, but this is what the bike looks like. I actually snagged this mat at Marshall's for 30 bucks. 
Peloton sells this the bike mat for like 75 on the website. So I would recommend going to Marshall's. That's where I actually got some weights too. I got two weights for 15 each for a uh, Peloton site. It's like 75 bucks for like two 15. No, those are 10, 10 pound weights. Um, but this is the bike. Um, it does have a place where you can put two little five pounders. This is perfect. They have some bike cycling classes where you use the little dumbbells. So that's a nifty to have right there. You can fit two bottles of water. I actually, this is just the regular bike. It doesn't swivel, but there is an attachment on Amazon that you can buy to add back here to turn the screen, which I think I'm gonna invest in that because when I do like my strength workouts, sometimes it's a struggle to kind of look and see why I'm down on the floor, what they're doing. So I think I'm gonna invest in that. Also like a phone mount piece that I've seen. But I love the bike. I will say it's gonna take you a good two weeks or more to get used to the seat here because man, the first day, your girl could not walk. I had so much pain in my butt, like in my tailbone, between my thighs, all of that. But you get used to it. There is seats that you can buy to switch out. But everybody that I've talked to that has a Peloton, and I actually joined a Facebook group, they said you get used to it. And they weren't lying, you do. It just takes time. But this is the bike. This is what has changed my life and pushed me to stick to it and be consistent. And... I'm in love with this thing. I find myself like thinking about going home and working out at work every day and I'm like, am I becoming addicted to working out? But for real, this has been like the best investment. And the good thing, I know it's very expensive you guys, but you can do a monthly option where you can either rent it and it does include the monthly membership that gives you access to all of the classes, to everything. And this big screen comes with the bike. So you see this week I've worked out three days, so I'm gonna hit four. Um, but there's so many programs. This is where I'm doing a four week class right now. This is the boot camp that I'm doing. Um, then you have your other classes. So there's boot camps. These are really fun. I've done a couple of these where it's like on bike strength mixed together. Then you have your strength classes. This is where you can come get you know, like your hits, your arms, your glutes, your core, all of those. Then you have cardio. Um, they have like hit cardio, there's Tabata, Ooh, Tabata will kick your butt, shadow boxing, which that's something I want to try next. They got stretching classes, yoga, meditation, which I mentioned I'm starting to do that. I've been doing a sleep meditation class, but if you go here, then this is where I can see like all of my progress. That was April, kind of where I worked out. Um, so I try, you see some weeks it's like five days, some it's four. This week was a four day, but May, I wanna do better and be a little bit more consistent at least four days a week. I don't like to go more than two days apart, but this is everything that I've done. Then I can see my workout history, shows me everything that I've done. We're gonna find, let's find a class. Kids watch you and they repeat everything you do. Remember, kids are always watching. Are you working out? Yeah. Yeah? Good job. You went a little fast. Okay, do your jumping jacks. Good job. Ooh, you tired? Good job. Mm -hmm. 
what you're doing now, your plank? Yeah. Good job. Do a push up. Yeah. That weight's a little heavy. Don't lift that one. It's a little too, that one's a little heavy too, but be careful. <laughs> be careful. Okay, good job. Be careful. Yeah, that's too heavy. Good job, Tank. You did a good workout. All right, I finished uh, day class three of my boot camp. I am now well beyond my 45 minutes goal of working out. And I am beat with a bad sweat. My heart rate got up to like 150 something. Whew. Killed it today, you guys. That was not, that was working out, but then also just Walking around the house, I did like four loads of laundry, going up and down the stairs, folding clothes, cleaning. But this was what I did for my day. Uh, I'm gonna make me a smoothie really quick um, because I'm kind of like hungry a little bit and I wanna take one after doing that workout. Uh, this is, I'm gonna show you guys, this is what I'm looking like now. I progress. I mean, this is the front. I still, that's still there. It's gonna take time, but little, little changes. Uh, I'm gonna insert a picture of like the last video I shared in March. It was a cleaning video to a comparison of now, like insane the difference two months makes. Just by working out, cutting back on my eating, drinking more water, and being consistent. Not only have I lost, let's see, I weigh 225 now. I started at 238. Very touchy thing to share, um, but that's the real weight. I am 5'7". Uh, I feel like I'm kind of tall. 5'7 is like an average height, um, but for a woman, I'm like kind of tall. Uh, but yeah, I was 238 starting off. I'm 225 now, so I'm what, down 13 pounds in the course of two months. My goal is to get to 200 by August. I have it set where I am trying to lose one to two pounds a week. Honestly, this month starting off since I've done that weight training, I've only lost like a pound and a half and I know it's because I started doing a strength training and I'm starting to tone muscle and gain muscle but I am losing inches because as you see like this has gone down tremendously uh am I honestly I wanted to share today Saturday yesterday I wore a pair of jeans to work that I have not been able to fit in two years that was when I literally could have cried. <laughs> All right, so this is what I got for my smoothie. I got some peanut butter, some oat milk, bananas. I buy them frozen because when I buy them fresh, they literally rot out. So for smoothies, I buy them frozen. And then I got my protein. I've actually had this smoothie bottle blender thingy for like three years because like three years ago I was like oh I'm gonna like drink protein shakes and like change my diet and I never did so I'm finally using this thing it's so cute don't ever give up <laughs> so we're gonna make this smoothie and drink that and it's gonna be delicious
So the only vitamins that I'm taking currently, I was taking ashwagandha, but it was making me have like insane dreams. So I kind of scaled back off and I stopped taking it for now. Um, but I'm taking my collagen. I take it in the gummy form. I don't really like the powder because I don't drink a ton of smoothies and hot coffee. I only drink like on the weekends. Sometimes I don't even drink it. So I switch to the gummies. I'm almost out and I, I like it. Noticing a difference in my skin and my hair. My hair has grown a lot, a lot. It's much healthier now. Um, and then I'm also taking this weight management gummy. So it's just a metabol uh, metabolism support. And it does have um, apple cider, vinegar in it to kind of help. I think it does suppress my appetite a little bit. I take it first thing in the morning and I notice I'm usually not hungry until around 11 or so when I eat lunch. Not really a breakfast person, you guys. I honestly only eat breakfast on the weekends. And I think I mentioned those uh, kind breakfast bars. If I am hungry during the week when I go to work, I eat one of those. Um, and then I just got this protein powder. So if I do make a protein shake, I really love chocolate peanut butter banana shakes are like my favorite so this is the protein powder that I use and I like when I'm craving something sweet uh, a nice little dessert that I've kind of put together is a sugar-free pudding so this is the vanilla swirl one I think these are like 60 calories and then I top it with some light whipped topping so this whipped topping it only has three grams of carbs, one gram of sugar, only 20 calories. So I put like a tablespoon or so on top of this. Lakin loves this treat too. One day he saw me eating it and he's like, mom, what is that? And he tried it and he always wants me to make him this as well. So it's a good healthy dessert if you are craving a sweets like me. Every so often I'm not really a sweets person. I really struggle with like the salty chip snacks type thing but every once in a while i do like the sweets and if i am craving one this is a light calorie and not as much sugar since this is sugar free and there's only one gram of sugar in the whipped topping next thing i'm going to show you guys is some chicken bacon ranch toquitos so this is like a keto um version of it so it's going to be low carb only three and a half grams of net grams of carbs um so you're just gonna you can do cheese slices I'm just gonna form my own use on um, some cheddar. You're gonna get your chicken, some bacon, ranch, and chives. You can use fresh. I have these, this is all I got. So that's what I'm gonna use. And we're gonna make our kind of like shells with the cheese. I'll show you how to do that real quick. And then we'll mix together our chicken mixture. So I laid parchment paper down. If you have like a silicone mat, that'll work as well. And we're gonna just form lay out a layer like that to make our shells. This is what it looks like. I kind of just formed like a square shape. And then I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about five to seven minutes. Be careful because you don't want that to lose its form. Five to seven minutes, we'll cook it until it starts to brown and bubble. So we're gonna put our chicken in there, strain it the best that you can. If you want, you just Fresh chicken, grill your chicken, do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm doing the easy way with the canned, just so this makes it faster, so I can whip together a faster meal idea. This can be a snack, an entree. Um, I think I'm gonna make some vegetable to go on the side with it for me. I was thinking rice, um, but I'm, I'm not sure. So I have my chicken in there. Now I'm gonna add my bacon. I'm using the fully cooked bacon and I'm just pulling 
the pieces, make it small pieces to add it in. more left over. Um, I'm probably just going to make some more of these cheese uh, shells. I'm going to add some black pepper in there and a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. Mm, that's so good you guys. It's only been a couple minutes but I'm going to show you what the cheese is looking like. Mm, we're gonna let that cook a couple more minutes because we want it to get a little bit browner around the edges and the middle to completely kind of broil a little bit. This is what it's gonna look like once it's done. And then you're gonna just add your mixture on top and roll it up tightly. See, it just comes out like this, but I'm gonna let it cool for a second because it's a little hot. is the meal I did pair it with um, a side of some vegetables this is what it looks like they are so good you guys I'm gonna add a little ranch to dip them in the cheese is a little greasy I recommend you pat the cheese down before you roll but this is how it turned out they are so good and you don't have to feel guilty with like all the carbs from a tortilla 